So Andrea, I'd love to get a tour of the app lab if possible. Is there anything you can show me in terms of the, the examples or the bricks? Oh, sure, here we are. So by the way, as I was saying, this case was 3D printed by a user of community. So just to, you know. <laughs> how long has the board been out? Ah, it was uh, two weeks uh, Incredible. probably, so okay. Incredible. Incredible. So I have uh, the board, you want to connect it straight with, uh, with the uh, USB-C. Mm -hmm. So here is the lab, app lab. So basically you can see uh, the first thing that it opens is uh, are the, the different examples. So you can, uh, as I was saying, you can scroll and see different uh, things. So just to open one uh, uh, on uh, wh whatever, so I use this one. So basically, what, which are the differences? You can see here we have the files, right? So we have the Python part and the sketch part, right? So here from inside uh, AppLab, you can edit your, uh, your um, Python. As the same, you can edit your sketch. And everything is inside, right? So here you have the standard libraries, mm -hmm. okay? And here we have the bricks. So, uh, for example, I would like to change uh, uh, how it's uh, is running, so I can just uh, go here, copy and edit uh, the application. So I will be uh, blue ink led. Okay, now it's open into my apps here. So you can see here all the different app applications, and you can here now go and, for example, change the code here. Uh, we can add different bricks. So as I was saying, there's a lot of different bricks. We have database, we have object recognition, we have mood detection. So you can also you know, provide text and say, hey, which is the mood of yeah. this conversation? And it will you know, bring out you know, the, the mood of the conversation or the classification. We have, a co of course, uh, uh, the Arduino cloud integration. So plenty of different bricks. And the brick can be really uh, added, as, as I was saying, uh, for example, I would like to add a database SQL, create, and boom, here it is. So from now on, just using two lines of code, mm -hmm. you can add records on the database, you can get records with two lines of code. No hassle on, uh, you know, on programming, on uh, installing, everything will be done behind the scenes with, uh, by, by the app lab. So there's a lot of things you can, you can really do. So for each brick, for example, you have the overview, you have the usage, uh, usage examples, and the API's documentation. So all the documentation is here, right in uh, AppLab, so no need of looking around, searching for different kind of documentation. Code is here, explanation is here, so you can really go and straight uh, using uh, the, the bricks. And of course, uh, we have our libraries, so standard Arduino libraries mm -hmm. that are used in the sketch, you can add using the same way you were uh, using the uh, Arduino IDE. So you have uh, access to all our library set that counts around roughly 7,000 different libraries. So just, and they are here. You can use it right away. And then, as I was saying, we have the files. So different files for a Python, from Sketch. You can add your own readme for your project. So whatever you want to do, it's here. You can do it right away with, uh, with AppLab. And you don't need to have anything. When you run the application, it takes everything, it combines everything. You run the Python application and you compile the, the, the sketch. So you do everything. You don't need just <laughs> press a button, run, and your application will run. Amazing, that's truly rapid prototyping then. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly the rapid prototyping. Amazing, thank you. You're welcome.